Hi everyone, welcome back. Now I'm curious about how hot the PCIe Gen 5 M.2 SSDs will be. So this is the device that's uh, going to satisfy my curiosity, I guess, somewhat. So this is an M.2 heatsink for those PCIe Gen 5 SSDs. This one is from ASRock, meant to be used with, like, say, the ASRock Tai Chi motherboard. It's a full aluminum block with a fan and with PWN cable. So what do I have in mind? Since I don't have a drive, I am going to try to cool a processor with it, which is the Intel Core i3-12100. And I will run Cinebench R23 and see how far it goes. So with that said and done, let's have a look at the setup and we'll see the results and what we can learn from that. Now here is the setup. I'm using the ASRock H610MHDV M.2 R2.0 motherboard and I had to remove my M.2 drive and one of the RAM stick so that I can place the heatsink just nicely to have as much coverage as I can from this uh, paste over here on the CPU itself. And when I power on the system, apparently it's so hot I couldn't even run Cinebench R23 multi-core workload. However, I did try run single core workload and check it out. This is the recording, so you can see the temperature is quite all right. In fact, and when I look closer and let it run further, that is, I saw the temperature hit 96 degrees Celsius and the clock speed of the processor was throttled pretty much, well, to something that's unusable. Regardless the outcome, I'm not expecting this thing to cool a CPU, but I'm actually pretty impressed that it can run single core workload even at throttle speed and that gives you an idea of how hot those Gen 5, those PCIe Gen 5 NVMe M.2 SSDs can be. Well, I hope you enjoyed this experiment. I certainly enjoyed it. And if you like this kind of content, do remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and feel free to let me know what kind of uh, experiments you would like to um, see. Of course, don't get me to do crazy things. I'm buying things in Malaysian Ringgit, which is a lot higher than those of you paying in US dollars. And this being a small channel, there's not much funds to go around. However, if you could support this channel, why not? So that's all for this one. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one and bye-bye.